Good morning, South Florida. I'm Francis Wang. Here's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. A press conference is set for this morning at Miami Dade Police Headquarters following a violent weekend of gun violence, which included a deadly mass shooting. It was a chaotic scene just after midnight on Sunday. Two people killed, more than 20 people hurt. This happened at the El Mula Banquet Hall along Northwest 186th Street. People were there for an album release party when police say three men got out of a car and started shooting into the crowd. Three of the injured are in critical condition. If you have any information, you're asked to call police. An investigation underway in Opelaka after a child is shot. Police say people pulled up to a home near the 2300 block of Rutland Street and fired shots from the paint guns at a home. Police say one of the family members at the home returned fire with a real gun. The driver fled the scene with an injured child in the car. Police tell us that child is between 10 and 11 years old. No word on the child's condition. Several families are displaced this morning after an apartment complex goes up in flames in Hialeah. The fire erupted Sunday afternoon on East 22nd Street and 5th Avenue. Flames and thick smoke consumed the entire one-story complex. Eight apartments were destroyed, leaving 20 people without a home. No word on what sparked the fire. And the Coast Guard has called off their search for 10 Cuban migrants missing off the coast of Key West. The multi-agency search went for more than 120 hours. Last week, crews found the bodies of two men and were able to rescue eight people from the water, but 10 were never found. Survivors told officials they left Cuba last Sunday and capsized sometime Wednesday night. That's a look at some of your Monday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.